Yo, hey everybody, Salondia Hammond here, affectionately known as Suham Baby, also known to some of y'all as the Thug Motivator with Suham.com, S-U-E-H-A-M.com. Hope you guys are doing well. It's a cloudy uh, Wednesday here in South Carolina, but it's okay. Uh, traveling back to Winsburg County, pulled over, getting some gas, and said I wanted to do this video because I wanted to share this really quick because i gotta go pick up my son from school i gotta get back in town in time but i wanted to share this man abundance is here i have made it i have made it we have made it and let me tell you why let me tell you why it's not because of what i drive because i drive a, a sonata a hyundai sonata it's not because of where i live or anything it finally hit me i've made it because I'm doing the things that I love and I get to help so many other people do the things that they love. Woo! That's freedom right there. That's freedom. I remember, man, going to a job that I despised, okay? But I was getting paid good. I had rental units that was bringing in good money, but my health was failing and I was not happy because I was not doing what I love. And on my drive to Columbia to do this interview with Miss Cynthia Pryor Hardy, I said to myself, oh my God, I'm abundant. I'm freaking abundant. I'm rich. I'm wealthy. I'm prosperous because I'm doing what I love. I remember a time when I was at the job and I hate that I hate it, that I was crying in the office and I would always be like, man, I can't wait to live my dreams. And I, I thought that there was some force that was stopping me from living my dream. I thought that there was some force, you know, and, and the thing about it was there was no force stopping me from living my dream. The only person stopping me was me. And so I came to realize today on my drive man i am freaking abundant i am i am i am i am freaking rich because i get to do what i love and i get to impact people and inspire them to live love learn and laugh to not quit but to follow their dreams to success and i do that through writing through talking to you through plays through films through tv through workshops through seminars it, it's just through books it's just amazing and so if you're watching this and you're waiting to say that you're wealthy you're rich until you get a certain number in your bank account or to you've made it to i don't know some 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 milestone i say to you you are rich you are wealthy and healthy the moment you realize and understand and and actually get about the business of doing the things that you love being with the people that you love and having great health. Come on, somebody. You rich then. You rich. You freaking rich. So um, if you are not doing what you love, I encourage you to get about the business of living your dreams. Uh, you're not supposed to be... Uh, uh, turn this air on. I'm sweating. You're not supposed to be... Um, having a pity party or wishing your life was different listen if you want your life to be different the way to make it different is to make it different as simple as that the way to make it different is to make it different uh, make a decision and follow it by action and make your life different so i'm excited uh just finished up a tv show with miss cynthia Pryor hardy on point tv and for years, I'd wanted to be on her TV show, but it just wasn't right. Uh, the timing wasn't right. Um, you know, I've been on Steve Harvey's show a couple times. I've been on uh, Jeffrey Lampkin's show. I've been um, WBTW. I've been in Charleston. I've been on uh, Carolina Live and Company. I've been on a lot of different TV shows, right? But I've always wanted to be with On Point with Cynthia Hardy. And it just didn't happen until today. And I say that to say this. A lot of times we want things to happen, but it's just not time yet. That doesn't mean you should stop being persistent. That doesn't mean that you should give up on the dream. Here it is years later. And, you know, it happened. I was right there beside Miss Cynthia Pryor Hardy. So what that taught me is that God's timing is the best timing. It also taught me that you still have to be persistent and not give up just because you get, you know, you may not get an answer. You may not get a yes in life. That doesn't mean that that's not the way for you to go. You know, keep, keep pursuing your dreams. Abundance is here. Mama, I made it. I made it, mama. I made it. And, it, and, 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 and it's all because I'm happy. I'm living my dream. I'm using my gifts to help other people. Oh my God, I get to do what I want to do. I wake up 
and I'm thankful all my kids are healthy all three of them I'm healthy my family's healthy nobody is sick and I wake up and I get to dictate my schedule I get to dictate that I get to do videos write plays write films I get to create walk workshops with the team team Suham of course I get to go out and inspire people to live love learn and laugh to not quit to follow their dreams to success when I had a bunch of money in my account and I wasn't doing this I felt broke come on some when I had a bunch of money in my account and I was at a job that I detested with everything, right? I felt broke. When I was driving Escalades, Benz, um, BMWs, Infinities, Lincolns, had a bunch of money, uh, I felt broke because I was not living the dream. But abundance is here, people. Abundance is here. Abundance is here. I don't know how you determine abundance. I love, I, I determine abundance as health, wealth, joy, happiness, travel, living my dreams, uh, no worries, peace of mind. You can't buy that peace of mind, man. So I want to say that to you guys. I will continue to be, you know, the big mouth Suhan with the blonde hair out there, letting you see how I do things, letting you see how I follow my face, letting you see how I win big, and hopefully inspiring you to live. Live, love, learn, and laugh to not quit. Follow your dreams to success. Awesome, um, Tamara Finkbeiner. That's good. Um, Sakara so Johnson. I can't wait to see Beautiful Minds of Pulling Play and something. You know it's going down March 30th on my birthday. I'm inviting all of y'all to come on out to see my new stage play, Beautiful Minds. Uh, Nisa says, I've stopped myself from living my dreams for years. I finally found enough love for myself to begin living in my purpose and doing what's been on my heart to do. And I feel rich. Girl, you are rich, girl. You're rich. <laughs> You get a glow about yourself when you start doing the things that you want to do. You get a glow about yourself when you don't care about OPO, other people's opinions, right? You just let that freaking stuff roll off your back. You get a certain glow. You get that GG, that God's glow. Uh, let's see. Uh, you know, I thank y'all for tuning in, but I, I just want to say abundance is here. I'm rich. I'm rich because I'm healthy. I got my family. My family's healthy, and I'm doing what I love, and that's why I go hard, man. People be like, so you, you, you're going to drive an hour? You're going to drive two hours to get on TV? Yeah, it's an opportunity, and I love it. It's something I've wanted for a long time, and the stars of the line, Chastity Pendergrass, uh, made it happen and yeah I'm gonna go do it because one I want to expand my brand Two, I want to continue to help as many people as I can and in order to do that I got to stand on the mountaintop and yell hey 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 we got this opportunity over here I gotta make noise because in a world where it's so noisy I gotta make noise and get attention so that I can uh, uh, reach more people and help as many people as I can so listen yes Kreja Johnson, we must get together soon. Okay, okay. So I, I want to say, guys, keep going. You're healthy. You're wealthy. Um, it starts in the mind first. Happiness is your choice. What are you going to do about it? Living your dreams, it's your choice. What are you going to do about it? I know that firsthand now. I, I, I've known it firsthand for years now that the reason why I wasn't living my life purposely is because I was purposely uh, finding excuses to not live my life purposely. Come on, somebody. Do you like that play on words? The reason why I was not living my life purposely is because I was purposely finding excuses not to live my life purposely so that I would uh, prevent myself from failing and looking like a fool because I was too concerned about OPO other people's opinions now it doesn't matter man i'm rich i'm living my life i'm helping people uh i'm blessed and i thank y'all for always supporting us i want you to live your life live love learn and laugh don't quit follow your dreams to success connect with me at suham.com s-u-e-h-a-m.com if this video is added value y'all know what to do hit the share button comment i want to know your thoughts uh about the video i love y'all peace